A very good evening. There are renewed concerns over the NHS's ability to recruit frontline staff in the capital after Brexit. New figures reveal the extent to which London hospitals rely on midwives from the EU. The government says it's looking at a special visa scheme for healthcare workers. Here's our Brexit reporter, Mark Ashtown. Uber has been criticised after announcing fares are to rise from next year to help pay for turning its whole fleet into electric vehicles, the cost of which is being passed on to passengers and drivers, as Helen Drew reports. BBC London can reveal that children in the capital have the longest waiting times in the country to get NHS treatment for depression and anxiety. On average, it's more than two months, with many young people telling us they can only get the support when reaching crisis point. Sarah Harris has more. And if you'd like help or support, you can find details at bbc.co.uk forward slash action line. Now, just before the weather, a new film about the rock band Queen premiered at Wembley Arena this evening. Nostalgia at Wembley. Uh, I'll say goodnight now and leave you with Lucy for the forecast. Hello. Thanks, Riaz. Good evening. A beautiful sunset tonight and our weather watchers have been sending in their photos. There's a beautiful sky sent in by weather watcher in Ealing. This one comes in from Chiswick. Now, as we go through tonight, it will stay dry. It's a bit warmer than it was last night, a little bit more in the way of cloud just creeping in from the north. A few spots staying in the double figures, an overnight low of around 7, 8 degrees Celsius. Could see one or two patches of mist developing. Any mist will lift fairly quickly through the day tomorrow. A bit more cloud through the morning, but some bright or sunny spells. The best of the sunshine into the afternoon with highs of 16 Celsius. A little bit cooler as we move into Thursday. There will be some sunny spells and it will stay dry, but the temperature is starting to drop off. A maximum of around 14 degrees Celsius. But if we take a look at the outlook, it turns cooler still as we move through Friday and into the weekend as we pick up a cool northerly feed and a bit of a wind chill too. That's it from me. Up next to the National Forecast.